All right, anybody tuning in? Just getting ready here. So no rush, really. I just wanted to uh, kind of let everything get going here for a minute. What better way to show on course live play of the refine system than just to go live? <laughs> I mean, why not just embarrass myself and uh, do it that way, right? I mean, I've never played this course. It uh, looks pretty difficult from what I can tell so far. And I uh, figure what better way than to just go live on YouTube, answer questions, and uh, play some live golf. Richard says, tee it up. Oh, it's teed up. And uh, we're going to get after it. The problem is, is I haven't warmed up because it's kind of late. And so I got down here. I'm going to turn the lights up a little bit because it doesn't look like that camera's coming in that good. Um, that should be a little better. Yeah, I figured, uh, why not just tee it up and get after it? So you may see a really bad drive here to start off. Just a fair warning. We'll see. But yeah, ask some questions. The Unicorn QED is installed. We're already taking pre-orders on the IXO. Not sure if you guys are familiar with that or not, but I already have pre-orders in place from our viewers. I'm going to get lucky because that had a pretty heavy draw on it. Oh, I'll take that. Carried it 277. That was downhill. <laughs> but one it still felt good, though. It still felt good. If that desktop audio is too loud, please let me know. When's your next TGC video? Soon. Very soon. I'm trying to uh, skip all around. Um, so this is the Refine software. When you purchase a Unicore QED system, uh, you have three packages to choose from, all right? 169 yards. You have the basic package, which comes with Ignite. Ignite is that amazing software I did a video on. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Um, that shows you your live camera, you know, uh, you know, swing and all the data points and everything. Um, and then the refine package gets you into their software that allows driving ranges, short game facility, on course play. I think it's five courses. Don't hold me to it, but I'm almost positive. Um, and then, uh, they have a succeed package that also gets you, I'm going to hit a, should I hit a, I think I should hit an eight iron here. I think I can get that there. That pin is in the front though. So do I hit a seven? Cause I can get it past probably. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to try to talk and play at the same time. I'll answer you guys' questions. I can see everything on the TV. This is the refine package and I'm out at the South village golf course. Okay. Playing unicores software, which I haven't shown yet. So I figured I would needed to show it. People were asking about it. I'm gonna try to hit a really soft seven. Be good. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of ex as excited as I'm sure everybody else is to see this. Oh, I think that worked out Three. really well. I haven't played on, on the course yet. This is like my first hole I've ever Number played. Number one player, do putting. Where do you guys see Eagle putting? Eagle chance. Eagle chance, I'm all about that. Um, I'm very impressed so far, not gonna lie. Very impressed. Um, and it's straight. Thanks, Chris. Jay, so far in your opinion, how much better is Unicore than Mevo Plus? Um, well, here's the deal. Uh, Unicore base package is $6,000 versus Mevo Plus is two. So I've been trying to remind everybody I'm comparing them because I have them and I want people to understand based on their budget, what one offers versus the other. And I'm not picking one over the other, but I think that the Unicore holds a great value at its price point for what it, what it has to offer. And I think FlightScope, Mevo Plus, holds a great value at its price point for what it has to offer. And I'm going to provide you guys with as much feedback as I, or, or content as I can to allow you guys to make a decision if you're in between the two. And I can help you with either. Let me know. All right, so this is a little downhill, 23 feet. It's going to break left to right. I'm not going to aim on the software. I'm going to aim just manually left because it works that well. I hit that too hard. It was downhill, not uphill. And I just crushed that thing. Oh, man. 
That's a bummer. Eagle Number chance, and I didn't do putting. I hit that chance. too hard right away. So now, all right, breaking left to right again. I can make this. At least I can make this. So I hope that answers that question. Let me know if it doesn't. 12 feet. This is makeable. Oh, man. I'm just off on my putting. I was sinking balls earlier. Number one player do putting. Now this, chance. this will ruin your day when you have an eagle chance and you're gonna three putt. Oh man, you guys are making me nervous, I think. There it is. I just had nice to get my putter. feel. Let me know if that desktop audio is too loud, if someone will please comment, cause it's pretty loud on my end. I might lower it down a little bit. Um, definitely let me know. Number one player, do swing. Seems like it's pretty loud based on the levels I'm seeing. I'll turn it down just a little bit so you can still hear it. Um, oh man, that audio narr narration in play software is looking nice. Um, TGC I'm talking about. Um, I don't know what you mean there. Yeah, my next TGC video will be coming up really soon. I'll, I'm going to do another one. I already did one. If you haven't seen the one where I, I just walked everyone through some, some play on TGC and Unicor, um, I just did it. Um, Steve, that was the perfect. My big question, are they close in price point? Yeah, they're not. What I find really cool about Unicor is that it's meeting this like middle market, okay? The Flightscope Mevo Plus is in a very competitive entry-level market, and I know it's not cheap, but the facts are is that's kind of entry-level for simulation that two grand market, you know, it fits in with SkyTrack and stuff. And then this middle market in between your really expensive 20 plus thousand dollar, you know, launch monitors, even the high teens, whatever it may be, this fits in at six. So uh, it's very interesting. Now look at this hole. I'm gonna have to aim. Where am I gonna aim? Let's see here, get my cursor back. I aim like up here. That's 265. I better not hit this sucker left. I hope that audio is fine. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. I need feedback. Um, of course, I didn't pay attention to where my T went because I hit it and it went flying. I hit that really well. Uh, see, this is the thing about live videos that I find humorous. I probably set it down somewhere. Yeah, I did. I set it up here. See, I get distracted really easy when I play live. <laughs> but I love the interaction. I always want to answer questions. I love it when uh, people are talking amongst each other, you know, about their opinions. Um, I welcome them all. I welcome the heckling, guys, because I think you've all seen me hit some bad shots. I try my best, but let me tell you. All right. So as a player that hits a little left to right, this is going to be a little challenging for me. I'm going to try to not draw this thing. Did I say left, right? I hit uh, my ball right to left. <sighs> nope. That was a duck hook, ladies and gentlemen. That was a duck hook. I should have just hit my normal drive, Fair and on. I didn't. And I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, let me pull that up so you guys can understand that if you don't believe your golf simulator, all you have to do is pull this up and understand that we're going to slow this down and you're going to see what a duck hook looks like. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a heel duck hook. That was horrendous. Now I've got some work to do. And that's all right. I've got 166. I can stick it close. That was almost a perfect example of what the system will do. It will show you what's going on. And I, and I felt what I did there. I mean, I was trying to change my swing. That was stupid. That was really bad. I should have just, you know, played my, my draw that wasn't going to be perfect. And I thought, well, look, can I hit a fade? All right. Let's see if I can stick this close. 166. That has a chance. That has a chance. Look at this. 
Redemption. Redemption. I'm coming Not for you. One player do putting. All Birdie right. Chance. Birdie chance. So I can aim on the software or I can aim left. Um, let's aim on the software this time. I'll just go a little left. Uh, like right there, maybe. What I like is, is that you can just aim left or right. Are you using Bertie's? Yeah, I am. So my partner that uh, we distribute Unicore devices together. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, he actually is also a supplier of the Bertie's, Bertie T's. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce them. Um, so yes, they are from him. And if you're interested in them, he has great pricing. He ships them out really fast. So just let me know. All right, I'm gonna aim a little left here. 25 feet, it's uphill. Need to read this right. Got it there. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? One player do putting. Car chance. I didn't read that break right, but I can get this in the hole. It's breaking just a little bit. Just a five foot putt. Now here's a great example, guys. If you haven't seen the short putting yet, okay? This is the short putting. Five feet. I'm gonna aim a little, little right. There it is. Nice par. All right, at least I got out of there with a par. We're doing okay, we're even. I mean, for the first time ever playing the software, because you have to remember, Number that's something I should bring up to you guys just so you understand. Between E6 and TGC 2019, Creative Golf, and now you have Unicore software, they're all going to play a little different. Their stimps are going to play a little different and everything. And so you know how your simulator plays. You have to adjust for the software. And uh, I mean, hey, it's going all right so far. Can you change? The view of ball flight. So there are options that I have not messed with a whole lot. Um, we can go under settings and you see how it has uh, like a fixed view. You can just do like a fixed view. Um, and then there's the ball trail you can turn on or off. You can turn off like the event cams, uh, the green grids and all that. So um, if you want, I'll do a fixed view just so you can see it. I don't mind doing that. And then we'll try to figure out our next shot here. Man, I should like lay up or should I hit a driver? I mean, it's like a, these, these holes are not that long. I mean, I could, I could crush a five iron right there and then just have a decent approach shot. I don't even have to hit driver. I mean, I will, I guess, but that's 233, that's 248. Yeah, I mean, I guess I crush a, I mean, I'm not going to crush a driver. That's for sure. I'm just going to hit regular. Um, but Chuck, I hope that answered your question. And just so you guys understand, I mean, I'm digging into this stuff as fast as I can. Um, I am new to Unicore. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm some expert. Um, you're learning a little bit along with me, um, which my channel's always been that way, I think. I've never tried to tell everybody that I have some, you know, answer to everything. A lot of questions people ask if I don't have them. Um, I have enough connections. I'll go out and find them for you, you know, so um, It's the first time I've ever played on course oh, it's gonna go. Oh, I knew that was gonna be iffy Oh Man, that's gonna be tough. Rough. I corrected that issue And I just number one player do swing. Oh, what am I gonna do here guys? Just crush it out of there and hope it's okay. Oh man, what do you do? Just hit like a nine and hope it comes out of there okay. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Steven says go for it. <laughs> well, this is gonna be interesting, I'll tell you that. Man, I'm not even far off the fairway. Kind of a tough course.
It doesn't like, oh, because we're not on the, see how it shows you your preview? That's yeah. the difference when you are on that, I changed the view. Number one player Did you see how it stayed behind? I don't know if I like that as much. And that's the thing you have to understand. Every software is different. And they're developing this software really fast. So if you guys think that it should have more views versus anything else, uh, well, exactly. So that's the difference. I'm sitting behind a tree. I mean, you'd rather move with the ball. But that's really good feedback to give to developers. So understand that these guys listen. And it's not just Unicor. It's all, I mean, from most of the manufacturers I've dealt with, most of them are open to suggestions and love hearing it. So, you know, comment away on things that you think are good or bad, whatever it may be. They do a great job of trying to implement the most important things. 25 yards. All right. I look at this like 75 feet. And that means I need to probably be about, you know, I don't know, 65 feet. Doubt I'm going to stick it with spin. A little too much. I thought it was going to come out of that rough a little slow, but uh, number one player do putting. Par oh chance. man, yeah, par chance, but I knocked it way too far. I should have hit more of like a bump and run there. I tried to like you know go up and drop it down. Well, look at this though. I have like no break, so I've got a chance here. Twenty-two feet. I don't think that's enough. Yep. Concede bogey. Well, that's not good. We got a bogey, guys. Oh, my putting's just been off. And it reads it so well. <laughs> yeah, I can blame one only one thing, and I'm standing right here. All right, so we got like 25, 30 people watching. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. Let me know what you want to see. Look at this par three, 172, 22 yards downhill. So like 66 feet downhill or so. What do you play? I play a uh, seven iron. That's what I play. I'm going seven iron. Love the questions and stuff though. Appreciate it. All the engagement is fantastic. I still can't believe I'm going live. First time ever playing. Look at the elevation on this course. I, you know, and I'm sure the elevation is playing a little bit of effect for the carry distance. You know, I've had crushed that first drive. All right. Here we go. Seven iron. I, I let some off. Was it a good idea? We'll see. That's an interesting view they got going on there. They have me like under the grass. Aiden. I think that's that's probably a bug, but not a big deal. Number one player. Look at this. Body chance. Birdie chance. I'm putting it. All right. Let's see here. I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's breaking left to right. 64 feet and it's a half a foot downhill oh man so much for a birdie chance not even close i hit that for like Green. 30 30 some yeah 31 feet oh man number one player i think i should have hit it harder off the fringe you know oh Learning lesson. 32 feet. Bogey. Concede bogey. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. It's going downhill fast here. We're two over. We need to make something happen fast. Number one player, do swing. Need to make something happen fast. We can do it. Let's see here. What do we got? 
268 to the center there. I will say the graphics are pretty immersive, you know, very 3D. You guys will have to comment and let me know what you think of the graphics. I mean, a lot of this is, uh, is relatively new. You got to remember, this whole system has only been around now for a little while, a little over a year. They are coming out with that new system now. Like I said, the ship date on that is supposed to be uh, June. That's also going to have some new software they previewed at the PGA show. Looked really good. Come on. I just keep overcorrecting that. I'm so scared of the duck hook. Hey, members bounce. You got to take it, right? Fair way. Members bounce. Yeah, see? Number one player do swing. I'm keeping it kind of open to the to the strike and then uh just a bad swing, honestly. Need to work on my driver big time. 187. Hmm. And it's 10 yards downhill. So this is a six for me. And I'm in the fairway too. Now, this is a six. I can carry it a little over 180 or so, 10 yards downhill, so I don't need to crush this. 6K for the basic level. Chris, yes. $6,000 includes the Unicore QED system, and it includes the Ignite software package. That is a piece of software actually covered that you can see in the channel. Um, it shows you all of your data, kind of has like a little driving range with like a side view and a top view for dispersion. The balls cluster per club. You can save data, upload uh, previous data. Um, it's got built-in swing cameras, dual swing cameras. You can plug in USB cameras. I was using my built-in camera on my laptop actually. That was pretty wild and actually worked okay other than the blur because the low frame rate. Um, uh, it's a, I'll tell you what, it's pretty robust software included with the base, base package. And the, the nice part about the Ignite software is, is it will connect to any of the third-party apps like TGC 2019, E6 Connect, Creative Golf. Oh, hold that one. Nothing new for me. I mean, I'm on the green. Oh, Angry. of course you're going to roll into the fringe there. Number as they as they call the putting. apron eagle so i learned my chance. lesson yeah i got an eagle chance at least <clears throat> i learned my lesson last time i need to really hit this thing it's gonna break to the right oh i could use this eagle so bad right i hit that pretty hard <clears throat> Is it within the gimme zone? What is it? Five feet, five foot gimme's? I didn't set them. Number one player. To oh. <laughs> chance. So now I gotta make this birdie. I can make this. Five feet. I'm just gonna aim just a tad left. There's my birdie. Nice buddy. All right. A little applause from the gallery there. About time. We're one over. For the first time ever playing. I'm thrilled. I'm Number thrilled. One player, do swing. <laughs> so it looks like your setup with the QED is the same as Amiibo Plus. 10 feet to the screen still. The docks say 12 feet minimum, but it seems to be working very well. Hey, Chuck, the chip. I almost thought about it, my friend. But you know what? I hit that last putt poorly, and I wanted to make sure I could get it there and, and get the feeling for putting, and I did. I was only five feet away and got the birdie, so you're right. I, I, and that was, I've chipped on the green before several times in live streams. I think you guys have seen me do that. The Gary Woodland, you know. Um, I'm not scared to, to chip even on the green, um, but uh, as far as the setup goes, uh, who was that? Mitch? Mitch, the setup uh, is the exact same. So what I like about the Unicore QED is that it mounts three and a half feet. Doesn't have to be exact, but about three and a half feet behind the ball. Mine's exact because I just wanted to, okay, which is just in front of my projector. All right, and I have 10 feet of ball flight. And here's the thing you gotta understand. It's not reading the 10 feet of ball flight. 
Camera systems don't do that. Uh, if it's stereo cameras in the front, they'll usually read at least what they can. You know, a lot of times they can't read to the screen because they're pointing out. Um, these are stereo cameras that are from the rear and they're reading that first couple feet. Okay, I don't know the exact distance, um, but it's so accurate. If I pull up that, uh, you know, I'll pull up a shot here and you can see that rotation of the ball and that's how it's picking that all up. Um, the, the club data is very good. Um, it can have some variances, which they're okay with admitting, but they're not worried about it because you have a live camera of that club. So if you want your club data, all you have to do is review the camera and the ball data is being measured so closely that it doesn't matter if their speed's off a little bit. They're reading the speed and the spin of that ball so accurately that that's why it's so accurate for your shot. I hope that makes sense. Try to uh, cover that in detail for you there. All right. Definitely trying to learn a lot about the system. I mean, uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think, uh, I think it's just uh, really, I, I mean, how about install? This thing showed up on my porch and I was hitting balls like two hours later. I thought that was crazy. Gosh, I'm coming so close. I corrected that and I just keep pushing now. That's gonna be trouble. Oh, that is trouble, folks. Rough. That is trouble. Number one player do swing. This is not good. Man, that was so close to a good drive. Well, hey, I've been in some weird situations like this before. Heck, you've seen people chip at Pebble Beach on the beach, literally on the beach. So I just have to hit like a, a 54. That way I get it to the green, chop a little bit off, because it's uphill. I, I can't get my 58 there. It's a 100-yard club, and it's 16 yards uphill. So 54, put the ball in the front of my stance is what I'm thinking. Give this thing about 90, 80%. Don't be too much. Oh, it's not enough. The uphill and rough got me. Rough. I'm, I read that wrong. I read that Number wrong. I wanted to, to swing. that's exactly my fault. That is what that is. That is my fault. Oh, 34 yards. <laughs> Got another tough shot. This is a tough par four here. Probably because of my drive though, right? I'll take Ready? it. <laughs> I will take it. Number All right. one player do putting. I can make this. Chance. Works super well. Really like it. Great system. Oh, Jaden, do you have one? If you're a Unicor user, whoops, I grabbed my wrong putter. If you're a Unicor user, please speak up. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know what software you're using because all the people that are watching, I mean, heck, we've got 30 some people or something watching. Um, you know, I'm sure would love to hear. So let us know your setup. Let us know what you're playing. Um, I mean, I've, I've been having a blast so far. Nine feet, we can do this. Nice par. All right. I got that to the hole, too. If that would have been a little left or right, it probably would have lifted out. <laughs> I got that there. That's for sure. Not all right, we're one over. Do swing. We're doing all right here. First time ever playing a refined course, a unicorn course, south of Village. I like it so far. Like I said, the graphics are really immersive. Look at the clouds. Look up at the sky right now at the clouds that are, that are moving. It's very realistic. Very realistic. Like that's not a static image moving or anything, you know. Uh, a lot of 3D action in the in the grass and the way the ball moves. Um, I really like all that. Um, Jaden, I'm not a user, but I've tried it before. Oh, nice. Hey, that's good enough. Did you just try it on the Unicore software, or did you try it on one of the third parties like TGC or E6? Let us know. Let us know your favorite part. You know, what do you like the most about it? All right, I'm going to give myself some play here because if I don't go right or left, let's see here. That's 257. 
259. All right. Give me one drive. I'm, I mean, honestly, those drives I was hitting a little right, I wasn't that disappointed with because I was correcting that hook I've been hitting. But, I mean, they're obviously no good if I'm off in that, that garbage, you know. This is a pretty tight course. Yeah, this is not a walk in the park. I think this was like a middle rating. Uh, Bay Hill was on there. That was a little harder rating. I'm sure I'm not setting up closed here. There we go. Awesome. Oh, come on. Of course the car path's gonna roll me over in the rough. No. That had to have been a long drive too. <laughs> Look at, I only hit that thing Not like 245 or so, and it, and it rolled out to like 285. That's hilarious. <clears throat> All right. Mitch, thanks for the explanation, which is exactly what I expected and didn't think their documentation. Uh, so, well, so here's the, here's the deal, Mitch. Um, and I'm not going to recommend 12 for that exact reason. So if you don't have the right screen, understand my simulator. I, I fit this into a uh, possibly even smaller than average room um, because it worked for me and I like it this way. Um, but this screen is a triple layer foam center screen you can i've had people in here with 135 mile per hour club head speed with their driver and the ball like ends up here you know unless you hit it down by a bungee cord you know as long as it's a good strike it soaks it up and so they're really recommending that for safety more than anything um it doesn't need the ball flight they don't want people up here you know hitting a driver against the screen because they said it was okay and then the ball hitting them um, I think that it's, it's smart that they have safety in mind. Uh, you know, that's something that you got to consider 65 yards, but it's six yards uphill. 58 degree wedge out of the rough. Hit my ceiling. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I deserve that for where it's stuck because I don't know if you heard that or not, but I got I got right under that sucker and it hit <laughs> it hit my baffle. It didn't even hit the pad, it hit my baffle. Hey, you can do that with the 58. I think some people were asking if I could hit my ceiling. Oh yeah, if you if you want to, you can hit it. I tried to throw that sucker way up there, but the problem is I lost distance when I did it. Now I have a 34 foot putt, you know, and this is for par. That's no good. That's no good at all. These are some tough holes. What do you guys think? Does this seem tough to you? I mean, I, this is not an easy, I guess I'm ending up in the rough and stuff a lot, but geez, not the easiest so far. 34 feet, almost a foot uphill. Hit the hole. Oh, I crushed it. Now I've got myself a serious, serious putt. Number one player, do Thought that. Par chance. Oh, this is for par. Okay. Oh, man. I just thought that, you know, being a foot uphill, I really needed to get after that thing. But I, I have a chance to make in this. Oh, lipped it. Concede bogey. Did you see that thing hit the lip? I should have just aimed a little left. There was a little break there. Well, back to searching now for birdies. Player, do swing. This could this could be a chance. A par three. Oh, nice! Somebody uh, timed in there. Twelve feet is only for player safety. I appreciate that, and I think that might be a new uh, viewer. That's awesome. I appreciate that, and I think it's it's Jay, Jay Sook. I appreciate it. I'm J A Y, and we got a J E Y. I love it. Uh, 168, 13 yards. Look at this view. I mean, I'm per this is to show the software, guys. Remember, we're not watching my golf game. This is to show the software. Look at the water. I think we got a fountain down here, if you can see it. All right. Uh, I mean, this is, this is really cool. Really cool. Beautiful the way they have that faded out in the background. 
Once again, the clouds, the way they're moving. I mean, I'm really trying to pay attention to the detail here. Um, they've built some nice software. They really have. So we're gonna play an eight iron and hope that we just stripe this sucker right next to the pin. <laughs> Cause we need it. I can't believe I just missed that putt. That was no fun. No fun at all. What do you guys think so far? Comment and let me know. Needs to draw. Needs to draw. Oh, that wasn't that bad. See what I'm saying? If it would have drew just Not a little more. Player, do putting. Okay, I've got a chance for birdie. I've got a chance for birdie. 13 feet. I've got to aim a little, a little right. Because it's breaking left. And when it's just a break like this, I don't even like aiming. I just like aiming right manually because it reads it so well. You can putt like this and that thing will pick it up. Um, I've messed with that and I should show that off a little bit. Uh, it's really impressive. If you're using E6, do you have to buy the license unlike the Mevo? Well, Chris, you, you need to understand something. Um, uh, let me explain this properly. FlightScope Mevo Plus comes with E6. It comes with an iOS license that's a five course package. If you've watched my videos, for someone that's looking for a budget setup, um, you know, budget, budget conscious, they have, you know, uh, anywhere they want to play, it doesn't matter if they're out of the driving range, they can bring their iPad and play it. I've put the iPad up on my projector. The graphics are tremendously scaled down. I mean, they really are. I don't want to, you know, sugarcoat it. Um, I, I'm a fan of E6 PC version. And I'm a fan of it for a reason, because the graphics are really stepped up. So I don't want to directly compare it. You need a subscription. And just understand something, that, that course pack that comes with the FlightScope Mevo Plus does not include a subscription. So you're not going to be able to do the online uh, play peer-to-peer, -peer, which is one of the best things about it. So you'd still have to have that 300 a year subscription. And then you would unlock the 27 courses plus the one rotator. Um, if you're interested, uh, let me know. I can help you out with E6. First, I'm going to sink a 13.95 foot putt because I need it. Go in the hole. Nice, buddy. I needed that. I'm, see, I'm fine tuning the putting. I'm fine tuning. I aimed a little right. All right, guys, so that's a perfect example. I'm going to show you how I manually aim. Jay, I see you said you're welcome. I enjoy your play a lot. Well, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you commenting. Um, that's fantastic. Let's go to ball club data. Okay. Let this uh, hole load up there. I might be a little, a little ahead of it there. Come on, pull up. Is it not going to pull up my uh, do 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 settings? Oh man, do I have it turned off? I hope I didn't do that. Ball club data. Yeah, it's on. It might not have, uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to pull up the review for that. And I, so I apologize, guys. That's where you could pull up your swing camera. And I'll just go ahead and report that to Unicor. Um, I showed it to you guys before for whatever which reason it doesn't want to pull up my uh, My review there. I'll show it to you guys next time um, because I did it once and it worked perfectly uh, Mitch said I see you're hitting from your regular T spot. Are you just trying out the Berties? Um, you're right. I'm not and the reason is because with this system um, one I'm trying out the Berties and uh, I like them um, and there's something about hitting everything from the center that I, I'm, I really like. And so that's what I've been doing. I mean, uh, Jeremiah, my partner, um, obviously distributes them. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing, right? Um, let's see what we can do here. That's 259. Look at that sand. That could be a disaster, huh? Um, I like hitting from the center. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice. 
at that building up there and everything. Got the water down here again. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's something about hitting from the center versus the off center um, that I'm that I'm enjoying. What I what you can do is is you can actually hit uh, the multi spot uh, position in your your configuration. I think I showed that. I just didn't go through it all. Let me hit this really quick. Be all right. It wasn't the best strike. Notice how short short it was. I keep I keep. Uh, let's see if we can review that, and you'll see how bad of a strike that was. I'm coming too far inside. I'm I'm releasing too hard. There's the ball club data. For some reason, that putt didn't pull up, guys. And I'll let them know. Maybe putting is not turned on in here. But let's look at this, and I'll show you why I'm hitting this bad. So uh, launch angle is low for me. Okay. But look at this strike so far from the inside. And that's why I love this because this just proves to you, okay, what's going on. Look at that. So far from the inside. And then I close it down on top of that. Watch this snap. This just down. I'm hitting almost down on the ball. And that's why I don't even look at the data. Now I just know what my, what my, my club just did. You know, and that's not going to get you great drives. That's for sure. 61 yards, 6.9 uphill. So I remember what I did last time out of the rough. See how it says 10%? I didn't account for that. All right. I need to account for that plus the 6.9 yards. Um, hope, hopefully that answers your question, Mitch. Let's see if we can get one close. Anybody else that has questions, comments, anything, feel free, fire them away. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I can't believe I am going live, playing on course for the very first time with the Unicorn QED. I'm really enjoying it. I threw it way up in the air again, hit my ceiling. Green. Oh, man. Now no, I went a little too far. To I'm throwing that. I mean, I just went under that thing and oh, 29 feet, not the birdie putt I was looking for. I just figured, hey, I had to get after it because I left that one so far short, but I was in deep, deep rough that time. That was the problem. I was in such deep rough. Excuse me as I uh, adjust my demo bag here that I decided to knock into. There we go. Got about four bags of clubs over there. 29 feet. Chris, understood. Thank you for the clarification. Absolutely, man. Yeah, any other questions you have? That's what we're trying to do. We are trying to answer questions, trying to get feedback. Got a little break to it. And it's almost a foot uphill. So I'm going to hit it just a little right. Oh, I'd love to sink this. 29 feet. That too much? I crushed it, didn't I? Holy crap. And then it's downhill. I did not just do that. Fairway. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I mean, I crushed that ball. I think I was just not taking my time. I was talking and I just wasn't thinking. Now I'm going to have some little bump and run chip. Oh, this is not what you want to do. Come on, did I really just do that? 30. Hole up there. Green. Nope. Just not close enough. Number one player do putting. This is rough ending here to this nine holes, guys. Lesson learned. Focus on putting. I just saw that 0.79 up uphill and just, man. Hey, I'm getting it there. I used to leave putts short. All right, uphill, we'll break. There it is. Bogey. Bogey. <laughs> 
Just come out and hit me with it. See how many people we got here. We almost got 40 people watching. One player, um, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to exit since we have so many people on here. And I'm going to show you guys a couple different things of the software. Um, hopefully you guys can appreciate that. You can see the different sections here. Um, you've got stroke play, driving range, challenge, course practice, and the short game complex. And I've showed everyone um, several different sections of that. I don't know if I showed this approach yet and why we're live. It's like, why not? Um, if you go out to the peak range, all right, let's just do that really quick. All right, let that load real quick. Oh, I'm just not that happy with that nine holes. But hey, I, I learned a lot. The first time playing the Refine software. So check this out. We're out here on the range, okay? Now, when I go to menu, I can go to approach or putting, which I think is so fantastic once you're out here on the range. Now, if you haven't seen the range yet, I'll go ahead and hit a ball for you, okay? Let's just grab a nine iron. See some deer running out there. It's a beautiful setting. All right, let's try to hit a nine iron so you guys can see this. Hey, you guys want to see how it can shape shots? I think that would be really important. First off, let's change from driver to nine iron. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how this thing can really read. So I'm going to aim a little right. I'm going to close the face down a little bit. Let's see if I can get this thing to just totally push out to the right and come back past center. Look at that. Tell me that's not crazy. That was a nine iron that, you know, I didn't, I didn't strike it perfectly because I was doing something crazy I normally don't do. But tell me that is not wild. Now I'm not good at all at doing the, you know, uh, what is that? That's a push draw and then it's like a pull fade. I mean, I can try it. I'll just aim a little left, have my face open. I mean, you're watching an amateur right now try to shape balls. It's not, not going to be pretty. I got it. I didn't start as left as you'd like to see it. But being an amateur, okay, these are the type of things I'd like to learn. See how I didn't start it as left? That's just tough for me to do. But see how far right I got it to go? Um, being able to use this system to learn new shots, I just think's awesome. You know, let's say that you're trying to learn how to hit it low um, because you need to get under trees or something. Take a nine iron, push it way forward. You see how low the ball goes? You could work on a stinger, stinger shot or something if you wanted to. Um, and you got your, your review every time. You can see how that club was forward. Um, so I think that's all awesome stuff. Now this is what's really cool. Check this out. We can go to approach and it loads this approach, which is unreal. Okay. So you can see here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to menu and I don't need to see this distance right here. You can change the approach shot to whatever you want. So if you want to work on 130 yard pitching wedges, it adjusts that for you. Okay. And now you can work on approach shots. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. And I'm kind of blending in a couple things together, but I want to, you know, why we have, you know, 40 some people watching, I might as well show you guys how this works. So pitching wedge in hand, let's see what we can do here. That's pulled. It's going to be okay, but yeah, I pulled it a little left, but look, look at that club feedback. I hit that ground a little bit. Club was moving around. So you could just sit here, leaves your traces for you. I mean, you have all your ball data. You can review that, that club data super easily by pressing this club button down in the lower right. And there it is. I can go frame by frame. I love the frame by frame. Let's just go frame by frame. There it is right there. 
There's impact. There's right before impact. Impact. I hit that ground. That club opened up a little bit. I still pulled it. Uh, I got a couple of questions coming in, I think. Um, oh, no, that was just Mitch's question. So I'll hit one more here for you guys. If you have any other questions, I'm probably going to wrap it up after this. So please let me know. Better. Better. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. See how that club didn't go all crazy because I didn't hit, you know, the ground right before the ball. Love the traces. So this has been first ever for me. We went out and we did on course play with the refined software on the Unicore QED. Had over 40 some people watching at one point in time, probably hundreds throughout the stream. I appreciate that. I appreciate the comments and the interaction that everybody had. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love you guys to comment. I'll upload this video and comment what you want to see next. I'd be more than happy to do that. I'm going to take you through more third-party software. We're going to go deeper inside of the Unicore software. Uh, we still haven't even done the challenge section, and we haven't done the uh, course practice. We're going to do those. So, And then we'll go inside of each other section a little deeper than we did before the brief overview. So a ton of stuff coming. Uh, please tune in for that. Please subscribe. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.